Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Level Up Meeples. Today I am going to show you one of the uh, single player variants uh, for Brass Birmingham that's available on BoardGameGeek. Uh, this is the one where we play against the AI named George. And basically this one does not involve an AI deck. Um, you run the AI by essentially rolling a, a d6 and that d6 then determines what action uh, the, the AI is gonna do. So I'm gonna play through this for you just to kind of give you an idea of how it works and see if the single player mode of Brass Birmingham is something that you might enjoy. Uh, so with that, we are all set up. The rules are basically um, pretty straightforward in terms of setup. You set up for a two player game and then you both have a deck of 20 cards, and that's what you draw from for each turn. So uh, with that, we go first, and I've already drawn my initial hand of eight cards here. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do to start off is take advantage of, um, during setup, this wild merchant ended up here. So I think I might take advantage of that and build a, um, Build something right here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna discard a Colebrook Dale card, and I am gonna start off the bat with a canal linking to the market to Colebrook Dale. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend three dollars and put the canal there. Okay. Now similar to the. Um, Normal game, uh, normal rules. We're gonna only get one action this first turn. So I'm gonna draw another card and we got an iron industry. And now it is George's turn. So on George's turn, he's gonna flip over one card and then roll a D6. He rolled a one. So if we look at his rules, basically in the canal phase, rolling a one through three, enables him to build, a four, five, develop, and a six just gets him four victory points. So since we rolled a build, we basically look back and this was a location card. So we know he's gonna build in Canuck. Now Canuck is here and basically uh, he can build wherever he wants. He's connected to all locations. He's connected to the market always. He can just always build without any concern. What we do is we assign the two unique industries, um, goods and coal, to a D6. So let's just say goods would be one through three and coal would be uh, four through six. All right, so we have a three. So he is gonna build this manufactured goods in Canuck for his first action. Now, he's not quite done. Uh, he does need to pay for it. So that's $8 plus a coal. And since there's no coal on the map yet, he's gonna buy it from the market, uh, and that's nine. Now remember, he's always connected to everything, so that's no problem, and he buys it right from the market. He spends nine dollars. Now the other thing is George does not keep his own um, bank or income. He just gets it always right from the central bank. So we're just gonna pull nine dollars from the bank. Spend it here. Okay. Now, the other rule for George is that when he builds something that can be sold, so cotton, manufactured goods, or pottery, he automatically sells it. It's not an action, he just gets to sell it. So he is quite lucky. He's gonna sell it immediately, and he needs to pay for it by beer, but since he's always connected, he's gonna use this beer here, and uh, he doesn't get the bonus though, the merchant bonus. So that was his first turn. And now we're gonna go ahead and readjust player order. Um, it's all set. So I'm gonna go first once again. So now that we have this canal, uh, from the merchant to Colebrookdale. I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that and build iron in Colebrookdale. So that'll be my first action. Spend the card, build this iron. It's $5 plus a coal. So coal right now is a little more expensive. It's $2 from the market. So this will be $7. Go 
go ahead and put that there. Pay $7 for it. And two are gonna get sold right back to the market. So that'll get us $2 from the bank. Okay, uh, so that was our first action. And now our second action, uh, I'm gonna build another canal over to Wolverhampton. So three more dollars and we'll build a canal here. And we're gonna try to get some coal here so that we can sell it back uh, to the market next turn. So for that canal, let's go ahead and use um, this card here. We won't need it anymore since we've already built in Coalbrook Hattail. Okay, so that was my two actions. I'm gonna draw two more cards. And now it is George's turn. So George is gonna draw two cards. And the first one is a beer, so we'll roll a die. He rolled a four. So four is develop. Uh, now if we look at the develop rules, basically uh, in the canal era, he always develops two tiles. We're gonna roll a D6 and go through this. Now, the great thing for me is that when he develops, he does need to spend iron. So that's going to go ahead and flip my iron uh, tile that I just put out there. So let's see what he's gonna develop. First is a five, which on this list here, five is beer. Develops that. And the second is a two, which is cotton. Okay, so he's gonna use two iron for that, which flips this and gets us three income. All right, so that was his first action. His second action, we're gonna roll a d6, and it's a two, which is build. Now the card he chose is Walsall, which if we look here, has three different types of industries. So iron will be a one and two, goods will be a three and four, beer will be a five, six. So go ahead and roll. And he is building another good manufactured goods. So that is $10 plus an iron. So uh, since there's no iron on the board, he has to buy it from the market. So it's $11 for this build. Put that here, um, $11, and he now gets a free sell. So that's sold. He needed to use beer. He is now gonna use the wild beer uh, per his rules. He first uses an individual location, and then if there isn't one, he uses a wild. Now the last rule about George is that whenever he connects uh, or wherever he builds industries in adjoining, in adjoining um, connected cities, he automatically gets to pay for and put a link tile down. So he's gonna build a canal here for $3. And that will conclude his turn. So we'll go ahead and reassess player order. It stays the same, obviously, he just spent a lot. And now it is my turn. So it looks like George is certainly using up iron. Um, but I think we're going to stay with our strategy and build a coal in Wolverhampton. So for our first turn, let me just see. We only have $5. Yeah, so that's okay. So I'm going to discard a Wolverhampton card. Oh, and we do get $2 of income. Uh, so I'll take that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to discard Wolverhampton for our first action and put out a coal plant here, which those two coal go right to the market, actually. Um, so first, let me pay for that. That's $5. The two coal that would be here go back to the market for two more dollars. And this flips, which raises our income level four points. So not too bad. We're at uh, 17 now. So that was our first action. I 
think for our second action, we may take a loan here. Let me just see what our strategy is going to be. I'd like to put out... Hmm, so beer is in short supply now. Um, so I would like to build a brewery. Uh, so we could do that here. Um, but that next turn would cost $5 plus an iron. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and not take the loan yet. I think we can do what we need to do without the loan. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. We have $5. Now we're going to get $4. So I'm going to spend $3 and build another canal here. Okay. And that I'm going to discard a... Um, let's see here. I think I'm going to discard... this yeah nah. I'm gonna discard Stafford I mean we have two Staffords so um, won't need both of them okay so we have six cards I will draw back up to eight and now it is George's turn okay so George is going to take two actions, he draws two cards, he flips one over, it's a brewery. So he's going to roll the die, and a five. Five is develop once again, so um, he's going to pay three dollars, because both of these irons have to come from the market. So he's spending three dollars, and he's going to develop twice. The first develop is going to be a cotton mill, right here. And the second develop is a five, which is a brewery. Okay. That was his first action. And now his second action is a two, which is a build. And his new card is Dudley. Uh, so Dudley is a, is a valid build place for him. Uh, there's two industries here. So this will be one through three. This will be four through six. And it is a one. It is a one. So he's building coal. He's going to beat me to putting more coal out. Um, oh, actually, no. I already beat him to putting the coal out. So uh, to pay for that coal, it was $5. And it goes on to his tile. And that is it. So this Dudley is not connected to Walsall directly. So he's not getting a free canal for that turn. So he is done. And player order will remain the same. We both spent $8. And I'm going to get $4 of income. All right. Perfect. So... Our turn. I think, do we build the brewery or do we take advantage of the demand for iron somehow? Um, let's see here. Where could we build iron? Do we have a Dudley card? No. We do have a Birmingham card. Um, the problem is iron is going to require coal which I can't get yet to Birmingham. Hmm. I think we're going to, we're going to end up needing that loan, unfortunately. So for this turn, I'm going to at least get Dudley into our network here and we can build that iron here. Um, so I'll go ahead and spend $3 and link up to Dudley there using um, a Coventry card. And then for our second action, I will discard a Tamworth card to take a loan. 
So we're gonna go back three spaces, one, two, three, on the income track, and we get $30, 10, 20, 30. Okay, that was our two actions. I will draw two more cards. And now it is George's turn. So George draws two cards, flips one over and rolls a die. It is a one, so he's building in Canuck. Now, he already has a location in Canuck. So in the canal phase, he can't add another one. Um, so that's an invalid build location. So what the rules say is that if that ends up happening, he just gets four victory points. So we will go ahead and move him up to four. And that was his first action. And now his second action, he's gonna roll a die. It's a three, fix this here. Uh, three is build, and now he built a brewery. So uh, this is the first time he's building an industry card specifically. So what you do there is you actually roll a 1d20, and the location, the number that you roll, lines up with this third page of the instructions, which basically has all of the locations on there. And you just keep rolling until you hit one that can accept a brewery or whatever industry you just rolled, um, Drew. So our first roll is a 12, and 12 lines up with Stafford, which can take a brewery. So that's where he's gonna go ahead and build a level two brewery. So this is gonna cost him $9 since uh, he needs iron for it. So we'll pay for that. And since these two are touching, he gets a free canal of his color, not my color. Okay. And that was his turn. Okay. Uh, so now we will keep turn order the same. And I get uh, $1 of income. And it is now my turn. So uh, now I am going to take advantage of this iron and build this, use this iron card to build an iron industry in Dudley. So that's going to be uh, $7 plus a coal. So we'll put this here. We'll use this coal. And $7. All right. Uh, so three iron go back to the market for $4 back to me. Great. And one iron stays here. Okay, now for my second action, I think um, we're going to try to network over to Birmingham and take advantage of some of these industries that we can sell. Um, obviously only one this round, but still, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to build a canal here for $3. All right. And discard, um, uh, let's see, yeah, discard this Worcester card to do that. Okay. So we'll draw back up two cards, and now it is George's turn. So George is gonna roll a two, and they're going. He's going to build this pottery that he just drew. Um, so we will roll a d twenty. Uh, that's a nine, and there is no pottery available at that location. We roll eleven. And no pottery again. Five. Yes. Coventry uh, is five, and he can build a pottery there. So we'll go ahead and build a level one pottery. That's going to cost $17 and my iron, which is great. So $17 first. Okay. Um, my iron, which raises our income three points. 
One, two, three. Okay, so we'll be getting three dollars a turn now. And this also gets sold immediately. Okay. Uh, it does need beer. And, hmm, okay, he's going to use his beer. George's beer for that. Okay. Uh, so that was his first turn. And now, his second turn, we will roll a four. So he's gonna develop. So he's buying two more iron from the market for $2. And he will develop a pottery, okay, as well as beer. Okay, that ends his turn. And now, turn order looks like it's gonna remain the same. He spent a lot on that pottery. We're gonna get $3 income. And here we go. So I think we wanna do a couple things. The first is, um, perhaps build a brewery of our own, um, which we can do in Warsaw, Walsall now. Uh, so I think I'm gonna start there actually. So discard a brewery card and $5 plus an iron, so it's $7. for a brewery. All right. And now I also want to build a manufactured good or a cotton mill. Let's see here. Probably I'll do I'll do manufactured goods actually. So we'll put this here. Uh, by discarding a Birmingham card. And that takes eight dollars and his coal. So that gets upgraded. Eight dollars. Okay. Uh, so that's concludes our turn. We'll draw the last two cards. So there's four more rounds. And it is now George's turn. So on George's first action, a five, which is develop. So again, I'm going to spend two iron for four dollars. Four dollars here. And going to develop twice. The first is a six, which is coal. And the second is a five, which is beer. Oh, so, okay. Uh, one of the develop rules for George is that they'll never develop the last two um, of an industry. So since we just rolled a beer and they're down to the last two, we're not going to go ahead and do that one. We'll just re-roll. And we got a four, which is iron. Okay, perfect. That was George's first action. Second action, uh, another develop, wow. So George is gonna spend six more dollars. Uh, six dollars. And develop twice more. A three, which is Pottery, however, pottery uh, can't be developed this tier. So we just re-roll. Two is cotton, that is fine. And one is manufactured goods, which is also fine. Okay, so that was George's turn. So we'll look at turn order. Uh, it does look like it flips now. We spent more than George this turn. So we'll make that adjustment. And we get $3.
Okay. So George will go first. Let's roll a one. So they he's going to build a brewery. Um, now, in terms of locations that can support a brewery, there are... Oh, there are still quite a few. So we'll go ahead and just roll uh, a D20 here and see what we get. Eight, which uh, is a brewery. It's the Worcester Brewery. So it's this one here. So yes, he can build there. He'll go ahead and put it out. And that cost... Nine dollars plus an iron, which is going to be four more dollars, thirteen dollars. So we'll go ahead and do that there. All right, so that was his first action. And now his second action. Uh, he rolled a three, which is to build, and he pulled a coal card. Um, so we will roll a d20, and that's a two. Two is burden on Trent, which can support coal. So he'll pay $7 and load up three coal. Okay, $7, and that connects uh, no, it does. Uh, yes, it does to here. Okay. Uh, with his network, not mine. All right. There we have it. So that was his actions. Now it's our turn. Um, I would love to be able to sell more iron back to the market. He keeps developing here. Let's see what our options are. Uh... think we can do this one here maybe if we have a redditch card we don't have a redditch card unfortunately and we also don't have an iron card um i don't see oh here's iron coventry i do have a coventry card so i think that's what our goal will be we'll go ahead and discard a colebrookdale card to build a canal here for three dollars and then discard this coventry card to build our third ironworks not bad here at the cost of nine dollars plus one of his coals here so nine dollars. Uh, let's see here. Take a dollar back. Okay. Um. So and we just sold all of that coal back, which is great. So five coal. Going back to the market. So that's six. No, that's four dollars. Seven dollars. $10, $14 of coal. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, all right, so we'll take that money. And this tile flips, which raises our income two points. Okay. Great. Um, so those were our two actions. Now... Uh, player order does not change. Uh, it does change. Yes, he spent more than us. So we'll do that. We get $4 of income. Okay. And now we're first. So I think with only three rounds left, we're going to want to position ourselves to uh, make a sale here. So we definitely can sell this. I'd love to be able to sell one more thing here. Um, so let me just see. 
I almost want to do a develop. Mm, let's see if we build another iron. Hmm. All right. So what can we build? We have a Stafford card. Uh, we could do pottery there. That's not a bad idea. We have the money. We should get that first pottery out. Okay, so I'm gonna go do a direct build at Stafford of this pottery for $17 and an iron. So that's gonna actually cost $19, which is pretty expensive. Uh, 10, five, $19. And then I'm going to build a, a canal here so that we can link that pottery up. Oh, no, it was already linked. Ooh, nice. So it's already linked. Do we sell now? We actually don't have access to enough beer to sell. Um, interesting. So... We need one more brewery. Hmm. But we can't afford it. Um, let's see here. To buy a brewery right now would be, oh, we have to take this off. We just bought that. Okay, so to buy a brewery right now would cost $7 which we only have $6. Oh, no. And then there's always the chance that they're going, to, that George is going to develop um, or sell and take the brewery I need. Um, let's see here. No, I'm going to go ahead and hold out on that. Should I take a loan? Yeah, what the heck. I'm going to go ahead and take a loan. So I'm going to use this Newton card and go back one, two, three spaces and take another loan. 15, 20, 30. Okay. Uh, so that was our turn. Now George is going... So for George's first turn, he's going to build iron. Mm, good job, George. So he rolls a seven, can't support an iron works. Two, no. Three, no. Four. Uh, four is Colebrookdale, yes. He can have iron here. So to pay for iron, it's going to be $7 and a coal. He's going to take his coal plus $7. Okay. And he sells three back to the market. Okay. Uh, and one iron goes here. And that was his first action. The second action is going to be another build in Worcester. Uh, Worcester is where? Right here. So he's building a cotton mill. Uh, he's going to use up his coal. So he is using this coal, this flips. Okay, he is building this cotton mill. Mm. All right, so that cost him $14. And he's gonna sell it immediately using this beer. Okay, uh, that is his turn. So, 
Player order remains the same. We get a dollar income. Okay. And it's our turn. So we do want to build this brewery. Where did we decide to do that? Let's see here. Um, so our options are Dudley, which no. Kidderminster, um, no. Burton Trent. So here's where we would build our brewery. And that's what we're gonna do. So discard that. Build a brewery. Uh, that brewery cost us $5 and an iron. So we have to take the iron from George. $5. And now we can sell, um, which I think we are going to do. Yeah, we're going to sell. So. First, we're going to sell this using this brewery. So that puts our income up 9 to 21. And then we're going to sell this pottery using this brewery. And that puts our income up 9 to 30. Okay. Um, and we will discard this to do that. Kindermeister. Okay. So that was our action, our turn. Let's see what George does. A two is build in Birmingham, which he can do. There are three available, so we'll do um, cotton is one, two, goods is three, four, iron is five, six. Uh, we got a three, so it's gonna be goods there. And that takes $12 plus two coal which he is gonna get from the markets for another $2. Okay, and then the second action is a one, which is another build in Redditch, which I think, nope, it's right here. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. And it was a six, so he's building iron. Very nice. Uh, five iron going on the card. And that iron mill cost him $9 plus a coal, which would be $11. All right. And that was his turn. One turn left for both of us. So turn order stays the same. And now let's see, we have two actions left. I think we're gonna do a develop. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, we get, um, we get $10 income, excellent. Excellent. Okay. So we're gonna do a develop in Dudley and take out two cotton mills. Great. Um, or do I forget it? Eh, you know what? I'm going to do a pottery and a manufactured good. So that cost us two iron. Okay. And then our last action, we're going to use our coal and hopefully build coal somewhere. Um, but I didn't... 
really plan out where yet. Um, hmm. No, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to build a coal anywhere. I was trying to set myself up uh, for the railroad era. But... Okay, nope. So we will just discard this and do another develop. Um, so that's two more iron. And we'll do both of these goods. Yep. Okay. And now it's the final two turns for George. George is building in um, in Wolverhampton, which I think he's already in. No, he's not. So he's building a manufactured good in Wolverhampton. That's costing eight and his iron here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so eight dollars. And um he is selling it immediately with the beer that he has here. Okay. Oh, and this gets a link that I missed. Okay. This gets a link. Mm -hmm. And I think that was his first action. And now his last action. Uh, he's going to roll a four, and that's develop. So he doesn't have much he can left he can develop. He can only develop these two things. So let's just um, assign a die, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's see what happens. It's a four, so that was manufactured goods. And another four, so another manufactured goods. Okay, and that is the end of the canal era. So we are gonna uh, keep turn order the same. I get $10 income, and now we're going to go ahead and score the Canal Era. So, okay, so I have scored the uh, Canal Era here, and as you can see, um, I'm at 67 points, while George is at 84. So George uh, certainly has a lead after that first era, but we will see what we can do here. So as we start the Rail Era, um, a few things change with George. Uh, first off, we now use this new um, rail phase uh, basic um, order for when we roll dice. Uh, we also go ahead and he can do a link twice. Um, you know, he still links as many as he can, but it's, it's always still five money and, and one coal. He doesn't actually take advantage of the, um, the double rail that we have um, available. So with that, oh, and then the other uh, change is that when they develop, when George develops, he only develops once uh, in this rail era. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already reshuffled decks. We have our eight cards here, and we go first. So I think what we're gonna look to do is our network uh, consists of Coventry and Dudley at the moment. Um, so I think I might take advantage of, let's see here, I don't have a Dudley card, uh, but I do have, oh, but I do have, let's see here. Yeah, I'd love to try to get back to Shrewsbury here. So I think what I'll do is I'll play this coal card 
and build coal right here so that we can start to uh, put some rail infrastructure in shortly after. So that's our first action. Um, we're gonna build a level two coal for $7. And that's not connected to the network currently, so we're there. Uh, $7. Okay, so that's our first action. And I think for our second action, we will go ahead and build a rail north here so that we can um, ideally, well, let's see here, because the challenge is that George isn't gonna make this connection ever. So I wonder if we should, um, let me think here for one second. I wonder if we should build the coal here in Coventry so that we can look to grab these two rails before George. Um, just what I'm leaning towards now. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just put the rail or the coal here in Coventry instead. And then our second action, I'm gonna discard a Coventry card actually and build a rail for $5 there. Um, so $5 and a coal. Okay, and that uh, concludes our turn. We'll draw two cards. And now it is George's turn. Okay, so we'll roll the die. All right, so a four. And now on this time, um, a four is actually still developed for the rail phase. Um, George can only develop uh, cotton and manufactured goods at this stage. So we'll just, uh, and there's one of each. So it's uh, no need to roll. We know that that's what George is developing. And that costs $2 to buy two iron in order to do that. So George no longer is going to develop. Um, so when that happens, uh, instead of actually doing the develop action, he gets four victory points instead every time he rolls either a four, five, or six. So um, hopefully that doesn't get uh, too far, too far away from us. Um, okay. So. Let's go ahead and do his second action. A three, which is build, and he pulled a coal card. So we will go ahead and roll the d20. Uh, four, four is Colebrookdale, which he can build coal here. So that's what he'll do. That costs $8 plus an iron, so $10 total. And since that is connected, uh, again, he's connected everywhere. Two coal are gonna go here, but two coal are gonna get sold there, um, back to the market. Okay, that was his two turns, so. We'll go ahead and from turn order perspective, things are gonna stay the same. We're tied. And now it is uh, income, we're gonna get $10. And it's our turn. So I'm gonna build this second rail here. Um, it would be great to have a brewery first so that we can maybe actually put out two rails, um, one here and one here. Let me see if, I don't have a, don't have a brewery card there. Um, so let's see, there's no brewery in Stafford or there's our, I could overbuild my brewery there, that's interesting. Um, oh no, it's George's brewery, so I can't do that. Uh, Kindle Mister, no brewery, Birmingham, no brewery, Tamworth, no brewery, Walsall, 
Where is Walsall? Oh, there is a brewery in Walsall. Okay. So I think that's what we'll do. We're going to go ahead and discard Walsall and build this level two brewery for $7 plus an iron. So $9 total. Let's go in here and it's getting two beers and we're going to pay nine dollars okay and then our second action we are going to network twice so i'm going to um burn this brewery card uh, i might want to keep that in case we ever make it here so let me see um I will burn, let's see, Stafford. Yeah, we'll go ahead and burn Stafford. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna burn this pottery card actually. So uh, now we're gonna build two rails and we're gonna do one here. So we're now connected to the market. And the second rail we have a Tamworth card. I think I'm gonna go up this way to Tamworth. Okay, uh, so that cost us $15 plus two coal, which we'll use our coal, obviously, and flip this tile. So that moves us up seven income. So we're now at 37 and one beer to do that double rail. Okay, so that was our turn. We'll go ahead and draw two more cards. And let's see what George is gonna do. Uh, George is gonna build, and his first card is a Redditch card. So Redditch currently can support a manufactured good and a coal. So we'll do a roll for which they're gonna build, a five, so that's another coal. So that's $8 plus an iron, uh, which is $10 total. Oh, and I bought this iron last turn. I paid for it, but we have to, we never pulled it off. So we're gonna pull this one off, and George is gonna pay $10. And four coal go on the card. Okay, that was George's first action. His second action, a four, which is gonna give him four victory points. So he moves from 84 to 88. All right, so uh, that was his second action. Uh, we are going to switch turn order here. I spent a lot more money than George. So we get uh, ten, we get $13 income now. Great. And it's uh, George's turn. So a three, which is build. So George is going to build in Coventry. Coventry, and in Coventry, he can only build a pottery. So that's what he's gonna build, and he's gonna sell it immediately. So first off, this is gonna take $22 plus two coal. So he's gonna grab the closest coal. So the way this works is consuming coal, we go down this list, basically. So the first thing he's gonna do is George's tile that is soonest, uh, flipping soonest. Um, no, I'm sorry. So first he must use the coal from the shortest path on the board. So that's going to be here, uh, one, two, and not one, two, three, here. So he's gonna use this one. So he uses two coal and $22. Okay. And now, this tile is gonna flip and it requires two beer. So the first beer he's gonna use, well, so he's gonna sell it all the way back to here. So he's gonna use this beer here 
and then also my beer, which is great. So that gets us five more income, 42, okay. And that was his first turn. His second turn is a two, so he's gonna build in Colebrookdale, which can only support iron at this point. So that's what he's gonna build. Uh, this is his last iron. It requires one coal, which he'll grab from here, and $12. And four cubes are being sold back to the market, like that. And two cubes are going on the card. Okay, so that was uh, George's turn. Now for our turn, um, I was going to actually look to build the last iron because I wanted to fill the market back up, but that's okay. I think um, there will be more opportunities to do that in a few turns from now. So for now, I think we should focus on building more goods that we can sell, primarily either pottery or manufactured goods. So I think what I'll do, let's see, where can we build pottery? Pottery is actually pretty rare. We'd have to come up here to Stafford uh, to build that. I do have a Stafford card, so I'm gonna go ahead and play it that way, just so that um, George doesn't swoop in and take that last pottery. So I'm gonna build pottery there that's Ooh, I can't. There's no supply of coal uh, there. Okay, let me think here. Hmm. All right, I might do another double rail, but that would require beer. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna build a single rail for now here, then build a brewery this turn, and then next turn, double rail pottery. Hopefully we, uh, hopefully George doesn't swoop in and buy that pottery before I can. So for now, I'm gonna build, use um, Coventry card to build a single rail for five dollars and this coal yep okay and then I will build a brewery using my brewery specific indie industry card and that's seven dollars plus iron Uh, so I have to buy the iron. So $8 total. All right. And that is going to be our turn. We'll go, go ahead and draw two cards. So turn order, we are going to go first, actually. So that uh, that's helpful because George is not going to be able to buy that pottery before us. So that worked out well. We get $14 of um, income. And it's our turn. So now we're gonna build a double rail using this uh, Colebrookdale card. Double rail is going from here to here. So that's gonna cost one beer, two iron. So unfortunately, both of George's, I mean two coal. So unfortunately, both of George's coal mines are flipping. And $15. Okay, so that was turn one. Turn two, I am going to 
discard our Stafford card to build a pottery. So the pottery is going to go here. It requires $24 and two coal, which I'll have to get from the market. So $24, which is expensive. Uh, all right, $24. Okay, excellent. So now we'll draw two cards and it's uh it's George's turn. So George is going to take two cards and on his first action he's building in Wolverhampton. So Wolverhampton can only take manufactured goods and coal at this point and he's going to build coal, another coal plant there which is $10 plus an iron. So now two of these coal get sucked back into the market and three stay on the card. And that cost him this iron and $10, or I'm sorry, $8. No, $10, yes. Okay, that was his first action. His second action is going to be a four, which is four victory points, bringing him up to 92. All right, our turn. So now I think we need access to more beer in order to sell, because this selling this pottery is gonna take two beer, and there's only one on the map, these two are not associated with pottery. Um, so we're gonna have to build another brewery, which, um, let me see what options exist for that. Okay, so yeah, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, our first turn, we're gonna build a rail here. Oh, I'm sorry, no, first we have to do new turn order. So turn order is switching, and George is going first and I get $14 of income. Okay, so now it's George's turn. He's gonna take two cards and he rolls a one, which is a build, and he's gonna look to build pottery. Aha, however, I don't know. Let me just see here. Well, so he can build pottery actually uh, he can utilize, since since everything is in his network, um, let me just think here. No, I don't think he can, because we would roll a d20, and there isn't a place um, where he can build pottery. So instead, he's just going to get the four points, bringing him to 96. Okay, so he's going to roll again. A five, which is four more points, yikes. Even 100. Okay. Our turn. So I think for our turn, we're gonna go ahead and build for $5 and a coal, this rail here. Okay. And then on our second turn, for $9 and an iron, we're gonna put another brewery right here. So that's nine dollars. And this iron. So unfortunately, we just flipped George's tile. Okay. So now we have the beer available. Uh, I do need to play cards for that. So one is going to be the brewery, and the other one is going to be Birmingham. Uh, no, we're going to use, um, well, we do have two Birmingham cards. Okay, we're going to use Birmingham. Okay. 
Oh no, we didn't need to. We already discarded one card. So we are at six, which is perfect. Okay, so we now have the beer infrastructure we need to sell pottery. Uh, hopefully George doesn't swoop in and do that before us. So we'll draw two cards here. Okay. And now it is George's turn. He rolls a three, which is a build in Burton Trent, which is already full. So he's just going to grab four more points, which takes him to 104. And rolling again is a one, which is a build in uh, Wolverhampton, which is also full. So eight points there. All right. Our turn Oh, no, we forgot to take income. Oh, actually, we should back that all up. Hold on. Uh, so this go here, minus eight points back to zero because, um, yeah, we didn't take income. So we'll take that there. And we get 14 points, $14. Okay, and now turn order didn't change actually uh, because we had spent that money and he did not. So now he's gonna do the same thing, which is these two cards and he gets eight points. Okay, so it's back to our turn. And I think the question is, should we build? Yes, we definitely, well, let's think here. Um, the question I have is whether we should try to build this pottery before we sell, but it's a little one, um, so, and it's only worth a point, so I'm going to say no to that, but I might want to do a develop here. Let me just see. Yeah, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and discard Birmingham card and develop this and this. And now we wanna to try to build this pottery and sell it before the end of the game. But for now, let's work on getting some income and just go ahead and sell this pottery for two brute beers, which raises our income up 10 points to 52. Great. And for our second action, oh, that was our second action. So uh, the cell, we're going to discard um, this Burton Trent card. Okay, great. Last two cards, so we're down to four uh, rounds left. Let me just make sure that we're even with George here. Two, four, six, eight. Yes, we are. Okay. So, we roll the die, and he has a four, which is develop, which is just going to give him four points. So, he's at 112. And we roll the die again, and it's a one, which is build. Oh, once again, I went out of order here. So this is actually his next turn here. Um, so let me just go ahead and take my income. Nothing changed here because we didn't spend any money. Ooh, we did spend $2 because we had to develop. Okay, so we spent $2. So the turn order stays the same. We spent $2 and then we need to get $18 back for income, which I'll do now. Okay. So now it's the first turn of this round. George took four victory points, and now on the second turn, he rolled a one for a second action, and it's a brewery. So uh, George is going to look to build a brewery, and the only place that can support one, so I don't even need to roll a d20, is here. And that's where, uh, that's where he's going to build. 
So we'll go ahead and put this here. It gets two beers. And it connects into the market. And in fact, I think I need to reassess George's connections. Um, let me just see, where else did he build? Nope. Yes, he gets one more here. Right there. Okay. Now, uh, he's paying for this brewery, which is $9 plus an iron. Oh, and the two connections he made costs coal. Um, so interesting. He's going to flip this coal here. Okay. So he's going to spend $11. And now technically he should have um, paid $5 for those rails. So I'm just going to put another $5 here. I don't know when this rail would have been added, but um, that's okay for, for now. Um, okay, so we just added this one. So he is all set. And it is our turn. So we have four turns left, eight actions. I think for our first one, we are going to look to build this pottery. The question is where. I think I need to overbuild. Um, one of my existing potteries. Shoot, and I only have two. Um, or no, I only have the one. I only have that one there. So, do I want to overbuild that? It would give me nine more points. Hmm. Or do I make a push to go up to Belter, Belper, which is legal, even though the cards aren't in the deck, you can expand out and up. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and spend, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of George's beers, and I'm gonna pay 15, 16, $17. So $17 to build two rails north for my first action. And then the other thing I'm going to have to do, so I'm going to discard this card. The other thing I'm going to have to do to get up there is to scout so that I get a wild um, location card. And then in my next turn, I'll be able to, buy, to build a pottery up there. So... Um, I'll just discard uh, Dudley as well as one of my Birmingham's and Kindermeisters to draw two scout cards here. All right. So that was our turn. Uh, turn order stays the same. And we get... $18 of income. Okay, now it is uh, George's turn here. So let's see what George is gonna do. A four, which is four points, essentially. All right, so going up to 16 for this first action and another four. Oh, wow. So this is where, you know, George, um, with all this dice rolling, this can get a little bit unpredictable here at the end, but uh, let's just keep going and see. There's only three turns left. So on my turn, I am going to spend the um, one of my wild cards here to build the pottery up in Belper. Uh, that should get us a lot of points if we can get it sold. Uh, so that's going to be $24 and two coal. 
um, which we'll have to buy from the market for another four dollars okay okay uh, so that puts this up here and that's our first action um, I think we're just gonna go ahead and sell it now while the beer is available uh, for our second action. So I will go ahead and do that, which gets us five income and uses both of these beers, which this one gives us five additional income. Okay, so that was our turn. And uh, let me just discard a card for that. I will discard uh, this one here. Okay. The turn order remains the same. We get $21. And let's see what George is gonna do here. On George's first turn, a six, which is gain four victory points, bringing him to 24, and a three, which is to build in Canuck, uh, which, let's see, yes. So there is available here, we'll do one, two, three for manufactured goods, and four through six for coal. It is a manufactured goods. So that's going to require um, a couple things to happen. So the first is that right there costs $16 plus a coal and an iron. Oh, I didn't. Uh, there we go. So, yep. Okay. So that's $16, $21 for that plant. $21. Then that's also going to flip. And as a result, um, it's going to use this merchant beer from here. And also, they're going to, George is going to add another uh, rail right here for $5 and a coal. So basically, eight dollars okay so that was George's two actions now we have two turns left uh, let's see what we want to do here I think if we can it would be great this isn't connected, unfortunately, this beer here uh, to our network. So anything we want to sell, we would need the beer as well. Um, we could sell back a lot of coal here. Let's just see. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do um, a coal plant in Tamworth here. So we'll go ahead and spend our Tamworth card as well as $7 to put coal here. And that's an instant $8 back for us. And this tile flips bringing our income up seven. Oops, this one, 69. Okay. And our second action, I'm tempted to maybe do it again. It would be three points, but also there's a need for iron. And that would be nine points because we only have the last iron left. So I think I'm going to try to build this iron somewhere. I do have um, this, yeah, I'm going to do that in Birmingham. So let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, so that costs $12 and a coal, which 
we'll have to get here. So $14 total. All right, 14. And four iron go to the market, which gets us six bucks. Great. And two iron stay on the tile, which we want to make a point to flip. We might just do a development to get that flipped in our last round here. So uh, heading into the very last turn, it looks like turn order um, is going to flip. We get $23 of income. Okay. And... It's our last turn. So I think, how can we get some points here? Setting up another rail would be nice. Um, let's see here, this would be three points. Um, that might be our best bet. Yeah, I think so. So that's what we'll do. We're gonna spend $5, uh, actually $8, because we need to buy the coal from the market. So $8 to put a rail here. And then we're gonna do a develop action for our final turn which will spend both of those and flip this for nine more points. And this goes up just one. Okay, George's last action, here we go. Or last turn, rather. Uh, four points, putting him up to 128. And a build in Stafford, which is full. So four more points. Okay, so uh, that was the end of the rail era. I'm gonna go ahead and count up the points and I will be back to uh, tell you how we did. All right, everyone, welcome back. Well, I'm sure you already saw the writing on the wall, but uh, George destroyed us. Uh, he got a score of 240, where we only got to 161. So, um, you know, it's tough, again, with the dice roll. And if he continues to get a bunch of uh, lucky rolls and gets those four points um, incrementing quickly, then it's, it's really hard to come back in this version. But hopefully this gives you a sense of how George plays, which is one of two or three of the AIs available for this game. Um, I might post some other ones down the road, uh, but I will say, as you saw, this one has a lot of luck and a lot of, um, of dice rolling. So if that's not your thing, then perhaps check out one of the other AI. Um, you know, one, one failed uh, rule that I, I forgot to mention that I don't think would have made a huge difference is that all of the rails that George bought during the canal phase, he should have paid $3 for, um, but I didn't, uh, I didn't do that during the game. However, like I said, I don't think that would have, uh, would have made too much of a difference. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you next time.